isolation turned out to be as dangerous as COVID-19 for many older adults and people with disabilities. With vaccines and boosters, and most recently, the reopening of adult day health centers, those most vulnerable to the virus can safely reconnect with their families and communities after a long two years. According to Dr. Sarah Levin, it has become universally known that ages 65 plus have been the most vulnerable to COVID-19 hospitalizations. However, it has been underreported that many of these elders are often part of multi-generational families containing essential workers who are younger and forced to go out and work during the pandemic, increasing the likelihood that they will bring it back to their elders. Speaking on the isolation factor, Debbie Toth discussed how forced isolation for elders is very counterproductive for how we should be treating elders. It is always very important that they stay social and sharp and asking them to do the opposite over the past two years must be reversed in order to improve their state of mind. Susan De Marios brought up how there are services, supports available for isolated elders in all counties of the state of California. You can call 1-800-510-2020 for further assistance.